right, ladies and gents, boys and girls, crypto freaks, money-making maniacs, all the rest of you good people out here, let's go ahead and dive into these crypto waters and catch one of these passive income waves. And uh, yeah, we've had an exciting 24 hours with the launch of the Animal Farm. So let me go ahead and dive right on into this and uh, get people up to speed about what is what and what ain't what. Yo, the Animal Farm is uh, another addition to the drip ecosystem, um, if you will. This thing is, well, it is going to be an evolution in yield farming, supposedly. We will see. Time will tell. Uh, I don't like to make guarantees. You shouldn't be listening to anybody that's giving you guarantees. Uh, but the track record of Forex Shark, shout out to Forex Shark once again and his team, BB, his uh, co pilot. Yo, y'all are geniuses. You are. <laughs> Anyways, let me come on over here to uh, drip and show people what's going on with this. If you don't know about it already, I feel sorry for you. Okay, straight up. Um, yo, I mean, even though Bitcoin is coming back up, right? People are excited again after this uh, horrendous pullback in the market, but. When you were in drip, we never cared. We didn't. We didn't bat our. In fact, we were very excited to see a pullback of the rest of the market. Meanwhile, drip is pumping out, hitting all-time new highs, and we're buying up the dip with our gains, baby. So yeah. Anyways, over here, I mean, as you can see, what uh, 761,000 deposited, and I am getting one percent of that daily, right? Plus or minus you know, a few um, transaction taxes that we have to take, but that is all right, you know what I mean? Because again, between this and the garden, the drip garden, which also got migrated over from the Manor Farm, uh, because again, keep in mind that this is a two-part uh, system, right? Now we know that the layer one is finito, right? The Manor Farm is obsolete at this point. In fact, everything got moved over, drip garden, drip liberation, uh, your referrals as per usual, those of you guys building teams. And I do encourage people to spread the word and get your links out there, man, because this is, well, when a, a system like this is working, it ain't hard to get people over here to, um, you know, so everybody can eat. Let's, let's get everybody out here eating, really. Uh, but anyways, though, so the animal farm is layer two. Uh, the two native tokens, the dog and the pig token, are fire right now, right? The two hottest tokens, I think, um, what, what was it? Uh, hang on a second, because Forex left a, um, in fact, hang on, this is the wrong group. Let me get over to my uh, old, tele get over to the Telegram if you haven't already, by the way. I like to give people a heads up on things over here when I can't get videos out uh, as often as I like. But yeah, dog and pigs, okay, this is from Forex himself, trending number one and number two on Dex Tools, right? He called it. Right. So anyways, he did a, um, which I missed the voice chat that he did um, earlier today. I, I guess it, hopefully it's recorded, but, uh, you know, it was apparently talking about what the move forward from uh, from here is. Anyhow, get on over to my telegram. Of course, get on over to the drip and get over to the animal farm telegram. Right. Let's see. Hang on. Yeah. Plenty of it's popping up here. Sixty one thousand people popping asking questions, uh, sharing their excitement, you know what I mean, with all the other people around. So yeah, get on, get on in there and um, introduce yourselves. Uh, yeah, make yourself known and, and, and introduce yourself. But hey, again, the animal farm, again, we got the two tokens, the dog and the pigs. Okay, let me break it down. Ultimately, like I said, a recap of yesterday is that Mm, at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Forex was on the scene. Well, I mean, he actually did it. I think it was like a, if you want to call it on the monster, I mean, on the moon hunters, monster hunters, on the moon hunters uh, telegram, he was doing like a Q&A or, you know, kind of announcing what was about to happen. And all that took place roughly around 11 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this whole process essentially took about five hours, right? It wasn't as cut and dry as maybe some would have liked it to be, but you know, this is a big, 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 big deal. Um, 
and doing it right, uh, taking time out to get it done correctly is something that we can all appreciate. I mean, at least those of us who care about things being done correctly, right? So Forex um, has done that, right? And everything is uh, as it should be, right? We were able to redeem our tokens, right? Your pre-sale L2 tokens, the revolution tokens. There were a few hiccups, people got stuck. In fact, I'll click on this so you can see what I mean right here. You, you had the amount of tokens that you would have gotten. You would have hit the, hang on a second, let me see why this. Now it could be that this is, there may, I think there may have been a 24 hour period or something like that. Um, Cause it may no longer, but regardless, uh, if you didn't, if you, at this stage, if you missed out on being able to convert your tokens because you weren't paying attention to when this thing launched, then you know you get what you deserve, right? Stay on top of this thing. Obviously, people who, um, okay, no, apparently <laughs> I'm wrong. There we go. Apparently, it was working. This thing is it's taking a little bit of time for data to to show up, populate. But anyways, but I already switched out all my tokens, anyways. All right. Now I got effectively, um, well fewer pigs than I dig dogs. And not to get into my details too much, just to explain to people what happened with this thing. But um, overall, yeah, I had about 100,000 that got split between uh, those two tokens. And I was able to throw some of my dogs, some of my dogs over here into the dogs BNB pair, right? And this one was paying out like something massive in the very beginning, I mean like thousands hundreds of thousands until it got down to what it is right now. And this is still putting out a good little bit. I already pulled out um, uh, at least one and a half, maybe two um, of the pig tokens over here. Now, of course, you have only three places that are gonna be able to uh, mint the pig token, right? These are the core, as you can see, core, core, core. These are the non-core pairs. And there's a pool that has the core. And, I, and again, I guess core meaning like what your core token is, uh, the pig token, right? Now dogs are very important too, because those are in every other pool uh, and farm, dogs are what you will need to throw into either the dog pool right here to get your pigs, all right? Or, in fact, while I am over here talking, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest um, and show people this is how you would scoop up your pigs, right? And we're gonna throw these into the pig pen. In fact, let me go over to the farm and harvest the ones that I had over here. Um, yes, yeah, so I've already pulled in a couple of thousand, maybe, I'm not sure how much it is, maybe about three or 4,000 off of what I got sitting around uh, doing, doing what it's doing. And ultimately, I'm just recycling this stuff. I'm trying not to go back into my own bag to buy anymore um dividends right we get paid when we go into the pig pen the dividends that we get here are busd uh let me go ahead and harvest this and i'm gonna put these into the pig pen here and show people how you go into there with your um with your harvested pigs okay now again the the way that this thing works now, I would recommend going to the white paper and just reading through it for yourself because it's you know well written in rel relatively um, you know concise form, right? You only got to read from page. In fact, let me click onto this and direct people where to go so you can read through it for yourself because I'm not going to read through the whole thing right now, um, the various lines of text. But come on down to page 20 where it pretty much kicks off. And you can read right here how it works, right? L2 has two native tokens, the dogs and the pigs. Both are innovative assets which balance each other perfectly and allow for a, a multitude of options for investors who want to take full advantage of the platform. Dogs can be earned in all forms, or I'm sorry, in all farms and pools, and it's the primary farm reward token, right? So dogs are very important, right? Pigs can be farmed exclusively in the dog, uh, dogs B and B, dogs BUSD, and drip BUSD staking contracts, as well as the dogs single asset um, staking pool, and restricting pig rewards to these four options limits the supply of pigs 
uh, and also creates demand for staking dogs and adding liquidity to dogs. Instead of dumping dogs into the market, uh, farms can stake dogs to earn a greater share of the platform through utilizing their dog, uh, I'm sorry, through utilizing their pig rewards. Uh, our and this is where Drip comes in. Our strategic partnership with Drip allows farmers to stake Drip BUSD, which we get from the garden, as some, well, if you don't know, that's another spot where we're getting, right, if I click, eh, in fact, I can't click, I have to click out of this right quick. I'll do that and show up in a second. But again, those can be used in the layer two, right, to earn pigs, right? Created, well, as it says, creating an exclusive, a new exclusive use case and a new demand for drip while removing drip from circulation. So, uh, but read the other parts of it here too, breaks down the uh, percentages, um, you know, taxes and so on and so forth. Also, you know, talks about the de deposit fees and how they are uh, distributed back into the system, right? Back into the people who are uh, holders of the various tokens. And what is this? The dynamic emissions. Ultimately, this thing will ebb and flow based on the current demand or lack of demand um, of the farm, right? Of the overall farm, right? And it's going to adjust emissions. And as it says, the emission rate is dynamic and always learning, right? So something new that they're bringing um, with this, I think it's new, this emissions, um, what do they call it? The DDSCA, right? Dynamic, what do they say? Dynamic decentralized supply control algorithm, right? Anyways, go through it yourself, read through a couple times so you can get a good grasp on um, the mechanics of layer two, right? But again, everything is in place now. We've got the drip garden over here, the drip liberation, right? Where of course you can buy drip paired with BUSD um, without the 10% uh, purchase tax, right? That we normally get if you go through PancakeSwap or whatever. So this is a kind of a, a little loop, loophole to buy drip on the cheap, getting getting it a little bit cheaper at a discount than you would normally um, by buying it off of PancakeSwap or you know through PooCoin or whatever. So, but it, let me click on the drip garden and again, show people where the LPs that we get, the seeds that we get, right? What they call seeds are essentially the LP tokens. Those are um, and can be used for the farm, right? Over here where I've got, in fact, I've got about $9,000 worth of this drip BUSD sitting in here, you know, doing what it's doing. In fact, let me come over to the pig pen um, and show where my deposit, yeah, I got like $52,000 worth of pigs. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more as you saw, I harvested. So throw that in there. And this is earning BUSD rewards. Now this is constant, right? As this, this we're only 24 hours into this thing. If really not even 24 hours, right? Cause this thing wasn't even finished until, uh, what was it around five o'clock my time? to where all the pools were doing what they were supposed to do. The dogs, because they stopped, for some reason, the transactions of, of the dog token. Um, then they reactivated that. So there were a couple of things that were taking place um, that, if you want to say, you know, caused a few bumps in the road. But we are here and doing the damn thing now, okay? So, like I said, the track record of Drip in and of itself is just impressive, right? I mean, again, to be earning, um, well, you know, roughly $7,000 a day and coupled with the drip garden, right? This is bringing in basically another, I don't know, around a thousand, because, well, not to get into what happened with the drip garden, but the value of the LPs pulled back a little bit or the overall contract balance did because people were, of course, uh, going into the farm over here. So they pulled out of the drip garden contract, but, it's still, you know, doing doing its thing, pumping out roughly, I don't know, two to three percent daily. Um, what other points did I want to make? Um, did this go in there? Yeah. So now we got 112 of the tokens. It was 108 before, I think, right? Yeah. And the price, it's been swinging, right? It went all the way up from 
Um, I think it got all, almost to a thousand dollars for the pig token. I think it was at nine hundred and fifty dollars or so, and the dog token I think got up to a hundred and fifty or sixty dollars. So of course, obviously, people took profits. There were some swings on it and so forth. But again, this could be a could it be a good entry point, right? Will this thing go back up to a thousand dollars? Will it go on to fifteen hundred dollars? I kind of think so. Based on the design, the the um, deflationary aspect of these tokens, and well, anyways, like I said, time will tell how this thing plays out. But it is going phenomenally thus far, right? So this is again, the Animal Farm is a yield farm engine, just designed for passive income um, to last uh, the long haul, right? And with the adjustable emissions rate, we'll see the adjustable emissions rate, meaning like um, the APR or what you're, what you're going to be earning, your dividends that you're going to be earning off of the farms, off of the pools. Because you can see right now the rates, you know, what are we, 200, uh, 300%, uh, 178. The other pairs, you know, they're down significantly from what they were, but apparently they will swing back up. I haven't even looked at the details in this. Yeah, 2 million in this one liquidity six million liquidity in this you know, so people that you know they drop their money in there they know that this thing is a solid thing and go you know getting their um, well get, getting what they're supposed to be getting for providing liquidity uh, and getting more dogs or whatever other really only dogs right for the all these other ones down here the only ones that are getting pig uh, tokens are the core right this one this one this one the uh, dog single staking pool right you know right here but anyways that's pretty much it it's a recap of what has happened thus far you can uh, you can do the liquidity here you can also uh, easily get to the LPs to provide if you want to do dogs and BUSD or BNB right you can do that right there so yeah, good to know um, yeah, when I just I went to the pig pen, I just realized that, but it threw, it automatically takes out what you had in there. So when I put that, um, those four or five pigs that I put in here, it automatically withdrew. I don't get what was that like the ninety dollars worth of BUSD. Um, and then yeah, I just I'm gonna take that BUSD, and in fact I'm gonna throw it into this pool. That's what I'm doing with it right now, right? Throwing it into the and just keeping this thing like a you know revolving um, door of passive income, right? Because I put the BUSD in there, and then I earn dog, and then I throw that dog either paired up into a farm, or I put it into uh, its own single staking um, over here, right? Yeah, it's fifteen thousand dollars worth of dog. Uh, yeah, fifteen thousand dollars worth of dog tokens going right here as you can see doing its thing and again that is like i said earning pigs but hey i don't want to drag the video out any longer i know those of you guys who have been uh with me all the way through the end um well pretty much got your head wrapped around what's going on so if you are you know interested in a yield farm that is going to and also becoming an owner right because keep in mind the pig tokens will allow you um, essentially, they're the govern governance token of the platform and will allow you ownership of the animal farm, effectively, right? Ownership being that you get um, benefits from all the transactions and so forth in the form of BUSD payments into your wallet, right? Constantly, right? And of, along with voting rights and some, some other, uh, well, some other key points uh, and things uh, on the roadmap to uh, you know what the animal farm is going to do but like I said that is really uh, what's going on with that my diamond team is still going good 1.5 percent daily this is paying out for those of you guys that want to diversify into other things are you looking to get into other things you wonder what it is that I'm in I'm doing this one uh, the BUSD uh, version 2 or BUSD machine version version 2 is going still going smooth right this is up to yeah, I got a team of 22 going. It's up to a dollar and 13 cent, right? You can either get 2% daily here when you stake your BUSD to get your uh, BMT minted. 
and then you can stake your BMT to get roughly 4% daily and then get that going, all right? Now I'm gonna do, uh, continue to do, which I did uh, last week, these airdrops. So keep an eye out. Uh, I'll post it in my Telegram when I'm gonna do some more uh, airdrops and let people get in on that. So if you guys wanna get, because the airdrops are, you know, right now I was giving up what, 50 uh, a piece, right? And also with the price of it being over a dollar, 13, that's, that's over $50. Yeah, over fifty dollars uh, per airdrop that I was doing, right? And I was doing—I don't know—maybe three or four of them at a time. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that because this one is is definitely, um, you know, on its way. Let me see what the contract balance is looking at, right quick. Yeah, almost nine hundred thousand dollars, almost a million dollars in the in the contract. So it's doing its it's doing its things, coming along. But ultimately, just like I said, a recap of what is going on with the launch of the Animal Farm, and it is gravy. Doing good, doing good. Earning Yield Farm, doing what it's supposed to do. Excuse me, with no problems, and that's exactly what we want, right? Led by a uh, very reliable and trustworthy team uh, that has brought drip to the table, drip garden to the table, and other things that have just been, uh, not to mention all the other projects that Forex has done too, like with the B Reap, uh, the Reap token, um, and so forth. But like I said, go ahead and get on in here. If you got questions, uh, hit me up in Telegram and I will get everyone, um, you know, give everyone as much attention as I can to get you up to speed. And let's get y'all out here um, on one of these passive income waves, all right? So that's what's up. Experience Crypto 24 7. Holla at y'all real soon from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. I'll get to y'all real soon. All right, peace.